one day, Monday, very early in the morning, like it's Monday, I woke up and that's the thing. Alright, so welcome guys. It is day one of the 2020 reading rush and I am so excited. This is my first year participating um, in any capacity, uh, so I'm super excited to give this a try. I am going to try to daily vlog it. No guarantees that's going to work, but we're going to try it because we're being ambitious and getting out of our comfort zone here. Um, so I haven't shared a TBR video yet for this reading rush, so I'm going to do that today um, as part of the first vlog, um, and then kind of talk a little bit about what I plan to do with this. We'll see how it goes. Um, so there are seven challenges this year. The first one is read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone. I was born in September, so my birthstone is Sapphire. So I'm going to be doing Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. This is the sapphire background. Um, I have already read the other two in the DC Icon series. I read the Batman and I just finished the Catwoman. So now I'm going to do the Wonder Woman. I don't own the Superman, but at some point I'm going to get my hands on that. Um, but I'm kind of excited to do this one. I don't really care about DC superheroes, to be honest, or any superheroes. They're not really my cup of tea. I'll watch the movies because they're good action movies and things like that. But I'm not like completely invested in the lore or anything like that. But I do enjoy this series. Um, and I think mainly because I like all the writing, every author that's been involved. I've read their other works and I really like them. Uh, so they kind of make me like characters that I normally wouldn't pick up a book about. So I did enjoy the first two that I read, The Batman and the Catwoman. So I'm super excited to give Wonder Woman a try and see how that one goes. Um, so we'll see. I'm, I'm excited. And then the second one is read a book that starts with the word the. Um, so I actually have a couple in my TBR. So I'm going to say I do have a book for every challenge. I don't think I'm going to get through it. It's a very ambitious TBR. But I also wanted to give myself some options because I, I'm a very big mood reader. So I might not get through all these books because I might not be interested in reading it at that moment. So I made a, I picked a book for every challenge and we'll see what I get through at the end. Um, and a couple of the books do go across multiple challenges, so I can kind of get a whole bunch of challenges done and not maybe read all of them, but we'll see what happens. Um, so for the second one, the reader book that starts with the, I picked The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn, Evelyn Hardcastle. Um, this one is interesting. I don't know too much about it. Um, it was recommended to me by a friend, so I kind of bought it just because she's like, you need to read this, and so I bought it. And, didn't know anything about it. Um, but now looking into it, it is adult fiction. There is a mystery element. Um, it sounds like, according to the back cover, um, that this girl keeps dying or will die. Yeah, so she die, she'll die every day until someone can identify her killer and break the cycle. So that's kind of cool. Um, we'll give that one a try, see how that goes. This one is probably the longest of everything on my TBR. So this one is either going to be the first one I read or the last one I read. Not really sure. Um, I feel like this is going to be one that I start and then don't want to put down, but it's getting myself to start it. That's probably going to be the hard part, but we'll see if I can get myself there. So then the third challenge is read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. This one was kind of hard because I am more likely to have read the book before I see the movie because I'll see the movie because I liked the book. Um, but I was able to find one which I was kind of surprised by, and that was The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weidenberger. Um, to be honest, I didn't even know it was a book. So I adore this movie. I don't know why. It's I'm not really into this kind of stuff, um, you know, especially in a movie that like more action, sci-fi kind of stuff. But I did adore this movie, especially the cast. So I'm kind of excited to see how the book compares. And this is also interesting to have seen the movie first and then read the book because it's not something I do often so it'll be nice to kind of compare it in reverse um, so I'm excited to give that one a try it also starts with the so this could also work for challenge two as well so that'll be a nice one the fourth challenge is read the first book you touch so I haven't talked about this yet because I only have one video up but I am actually in the middle of a move uh, this afternoon I'm going to be signing the closing paperwork for my house that we just bought or we will be buying today uh, so most of my books are in boxes. Uh, the ones that I have now are either previously acquired, uh, acquired after I boxed those things, or um, 
one that I purposely left out because I had a small chunk that I was like, okay, these are the books that I can physically read between now and the move. Um, so I have a very, very small selection out of my shelf right now. So there wasn't much pickings here, but the first one I touched was Hunter by Mercedes Lackey. This one has been on my shelf for a very, very long time. I honestly probably couldn't even tell you when I purchased this. Um, and again, I don't know much about it. I just know mainly based off the cover that there's dragons and it's teen fantasy. So teen fantasy is usually a good pick for me. And I definitely think for like a reading rush readathon kind of thing, it's perfect because they tend to read faster for me. I can get through them a lot quicker. Um, and mainly because it's not the deep, deep world building that an adult fantasy would have. So this makes it a little easier to get through some of that. So I'm excited to give this one a try. I've heard good things about it. Um, it was popular a while back, I believe. Um, but, you know, we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully it'll be one of the quicker reads as well. And then the fifth challenge is read a book completely outside of your house. So this one I did not pick a specific book for. And the reason is, as I said, I'm in the middle of a move. We're buying our house today. So I'm going to cheat a little bit on this challenge and all of the books on my TBR are going to count for this challenge because as of this afternoon, I will officially have a different house than I'm living in because we are not moving until Friday. So I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit and say that everything on this TBR matches because I will be living in my house as of this afternoon. I'll be living somewhere else. So we're going to count it. Um, but, you know, I also will maybe take some time and go sit outside and read or something like that. Um, again, we're still kind of in a bit of a quarantine. I'm working from home, so I don't have to drive, which means I don't have my audiobook time in the car, and I don't have like an office space to go listen to in, which is normally where I would do my audiobooks. So, you know, we'll make work with it and see what happens. Um, I might also like eat in a different spot than I, in my apartment right now than I normally would, things like that. Um, but I'm really going to go off the fact that as of this afternoon, this will not technically be my house. So we'll go with that and see how it works. So the sixth challenge is read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. Um, there are a couple of the um, Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn uh, Hardcastle. I, I want to say Evelyn Hugo because it's The Seven Husbands. I've never read that book, but I've heard the title so many times that I keep wanting to say that'll be in a different TV at some point. Um, the Devil Wears Prada, they're both adult fiction, which is a genre in general that I want to get more into. Adult in general, um, I tend to read more towards the teen, young adult. And like I said, mainly because it reads faster and I can get through more books. Um, and there's something about the, just that that feeling of completion and, you know, I, like I've accomplished something when I finish a book, um, which is why I tend to read more towards that. But I do want to start increasing my adult content, um, mainly because I find that I think it's daunting when I look at it, but then I read it and I adore it and I want more of it. So I'm trying to get past that over that initial feeling of dauntingness and, and actually start to read it. So those two can definitely fit in this category as well. But the specific book that I picked for this one is The Killer Across the Table by John Douglas and Mark Olshark, Olshaker. Um, this one is true crime um, and it's uh, talking about serial killers, predators, and how the FBI classifies them and things like that. Um, this is the same author that wrote Mindhunter, um, which was turned into a Netflix series with Jonathan Groff. Um, and it was, uh, they explored like Ted Bundy and other serial killers and the um, FBI agents who created the classification system for serial killers. Um, so that is really interesting. I've been a lot into a lot of true crime podcasts lately, so I thought it was kind of cool to get into some of the true crime books now. Um, and Mindhunter is also on my list at some point. I own a copy. It's in a box somewhere. So this one I was able to get my hands on, so I'm going to read this one instead, and then eventually I'll get around to Mindhunters. So again, this one also fell in the category of the uh, book that starts with the. Uh, but this is true crime, so this is a uh, topic or a genre that I really want to start to get into more. Um, so, you know, adult fiction, true crime, things you want to read more of. This is also nonfiction, and I do have a goal for 2020 to read more nonfiction novels. So this is also for my 2020 reading goals. This will be good because it'll be another nonfiction book that I can read, um, which I think I've read one or two of in July so far, so it'll be good to add some more of to that list. And then the last prompt, number seven, is read a book that takes place in a different continent than where you live. Um, so I am located in 
the United States and North America. Um, so my pick for this one is God Save the Queen by Kate Locke. Um, this takes place over in England. Um, I have actually already read this book. I read it maybe two years ago. Adored it. It is steampunk Victorian England. So basically, um, Queen Victoria never died. And she now rules over um, a modern day Britain. I think this book was written in 2012, so it kind of takes place in that time frame, around like 2012 or so. And uh, basically, vampires, werewolves, goblins, they all rule and, you know, run the world. And um, it's all steampunky and awesome, and I'm really excited to give it a try. I actually have the audiobook of this one now. I was able to get my hands on that, and I really want to listen to the audiobook version of this, mainly because I love an audiobook with a good narrator with a good accent and seeing as the main character is British and then the main there is a love interest but he's not really supposed to be a love interest they do end up getting together but for other reasons that help the plot um he is Scottish so Lord knows there's going to be a good Scottish accent and I love me a good accent in an audiobook so I'm excited to give that one a try I do actually have the audiobook from the library for each one of these books and that's mainly because I am working from home, I am still working, so I plan to listen to audiobooks while I'm working, and then when I get off work, or if I have like free time on lunch breaks and things like that, I will probably pick up the physical book. I prefer to read a book in my hands, but I also like to read while I'm working, so audiobooks make that possible. So I'm going to try and get through. There's seven prompts. I picked six books. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't know what I'm going to start with. To be quite honest, I think I want to start with The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcase, or Top Hardcastle. I, we'll get this title right by the end of this, I promise. Um, and again, mainly because this is the longest one. I believe this is like a 18 hour audiobook. I'm going to try to do two times speed. Uh, I'm not used to doing audiobooks at two times speed. Uh, but I did do a couple small, like, short Audible originals recently on Two Times Speed, and I realized it's not as bad as I thought it was. Um, so I think to get through some of these, that might be helpful. Um, I do also find that when I do a combination of audiobook and reading the physical book, I can get through the book faster in general. Um, so I hope we can make that a little bit faster than the full 18 hours that audiobook, but we'll see what happens. So I think I'm going to start with this one. Um, and then go from there. I definitely want to read The Wonder Woman, though. This one is one that I'm really excited about, um, mainly because I just finished The Catwoman, so I'm kind of in a DC icons kick, and I think I want to pick it up and keep going. Um, so I think I'm going to start listening to the audiobook for The Seven and a Half Deaths, and then maybe this afternoon when I get off work, I'm going to start physically reading Wonder Woman. Um, and we'll go from there. So I'm really excited to give this a try. Um, like I said, I've never done anything like this, a readathon, reading rush, anything. So I'm super excited to give this a try. Um, I'm also kind of excited to see how I stick with the TBR because, like I said, I'm a mood reader. I don't do TBRs because if I tell myself you're going to read these books in this order at this time, I never stick to it. I, I always fall through. So we'll give it a try and we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so that's my TBR. I'm going to go start work and then give you some updates as we get through. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I'm super excited. Um, so stick around. I'm hoping that I can get these daily vlogs up and have a good time. So quick update, I just got off work. Uh, it's about noon. I worked a half day today because of everything going on with closing on the house. So I have a little bit of time before I have to leave to do all the paperwork and stuff. So um, normally I would 
just lay in bed and read, but I actually have some homework that I need to get done. So I'm going to do some homework and listen to more of the audio, um, audible, bleh, audiobook for the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I'm about 16% of the way through, um, which is about a little over two and a half hours into the audiobook. And I am loving this. I am so intrigued. Um, I am listening to two and a half speed, but I might knock it down a little bit, maybe like one and a half, um, because I feel like I might be missing some things uh, so far. So I, I got some more details and I'm like, I'm not obviously not going to spoil the book for anybody that hasn't read it, um, but it's pretty interesting. Like, so there is a time constraint on solving this. So basically the girl's gonna keep dying every day until this guy solves the murder and every day the guy wakes up in a different body um, but there is a time limit he's only gonna have eight days he only gets eight like redos for it so it's kind of cool that there's like a time limit to it i think that's an interesting element um and there is like a character that is kind of guiding him and we just met him and he's starting to give him more details about what's going on he's still being very vague and you know um, cryptic about some of it but he's getting he's getting more information like he's just been told you will have eight days and blah 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 so it's pretty interesting um there's a lot of interesting characters what I find interesting is that we're on day like I think we're on day I just got to day four and like day one was really long obviously it was several chapters long there's a lot of details he found out a lot of stuff and then day two was one chapter which was like three pages worth in the physical book and it was really short and you almost felt like you got nothing out of day two so like he completely lost a day which is pretty interesting that some are going to be helpful and some aren't um so I'm interested to see more uh, and get more into it um I'm Really glad that I'm liking this though because as the longest book on this TBR um, for this reading rush, I'm really glad that I'm intrigued by it and it's not going to feel like I'm, I'm sloshing through it. Um, so I definitely know that I'm going to finish this one this week. Um, it's just a matter of how much other stuff I'm able to get in done with that as well. Um, so normally I would keep my homework to just the weekends. Um, I have a full-time job so I work during the days and then I don't Sometimes I'll do some stuff in the evenings, but since I have some free rare time or rare free time, I'm going to try and get some homework done while I listen to this audiobook. Um, so I will update you as I keep going and I'll let you know if anything super interesting happenings, obviously spoiler free, um, but I am really glad that I started this. I'm enjoying it so much, so I can't wait to continue it and I'll update you later. signing all the closing documents for our house. We're officially homeowners. I'm so excited. Um, so that is awesome. I have been, we've been waiting for this for a while. So I'm so excited about that. Um, so that's what I did all afternoon. I did get some of my homework done, not as much as I wanted to, but I got some of it done. Um, and I kept listening to the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. She got it right the first try this time. Um, I'm about 47% of the way, so almost 50%. My goal for the rest of the night is to try and get at least 50%. But honestly, this book has got me so intrigued. I don't want to put it down. Like, I literally had a f maybe 15 minute drive from my apartment to the title company's office to sign the paperwork. 
and I had to listen to the audiobook in the car like I there was no way I wasn't going to because it's just been so good so much stuff has happened and obviously it's a mystery so talking about a lot of it's going to give away the plot but there have been so many twists and turns that I didn't see coming that have just driven the plot in all these different crazy directions so I am really excited to see where this actually goes and what actually is going on um so I'm really super excited about this I am thrilled that I'm enjoying it as much as I am because I really really didn't think that I was going to but I'm so glad that I started with this one and the fact that I'm over 50% done this and you know it's only day one I'm probably gonna have this finished tomorrow at some point um so my chances of finishing a good chunk of books for this TBR for this reading rush is gonna be pretty good so I'm really stoked about that too um but I keep I probably could be a little bit further along in the audiobook but I'm, do I'm doing it all audiobook and then every now and then I literally pause the audiobook go to the physical copy and and tab and put like little notes inside with like comments and things especially because I'm like trying to solve the mystery as I go so I'm leaving little notes about like oh well this happened and that happened well that connects to that and I'm trying to like solve the mystery as I go which is a lot of fun which makes me wonder why I've never really gotten into mysteries because I clearly am enjoying this um but I'm really excited to finish this book and um so I'm probably gonna make this the last update for the night that gives me a chance to get all this on my computer edit it and try to get it up for tomorrow um, but I will update you guys in the morning and let you know what's going on and whether or not like how far I get into it um, but yeah I am super excited that I'm enjoying this book um, so it has been an awesome day it has been a great first day to the reading rush and I'm excited to see what the rest of the week brings I know it's gonna be a little bit crazy as we go especially because we are planning on moving on Friday so my in-laws and yeah my, my in-laws are coming up to stay with us on Friday um, we're gonna start packing up the apartment and then actually moving on Saturday so the end of this reading rush is going to be a little tough but i do have a long drive to get to the new place so i can probably get some good chunks of an audiobook done on that too so that's gonna be a lot of fun um so i look forward to updating you tomorrow and i'm so excited that this day one went so great have a good night guys